Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, Dr. Sachs. Uh, my name is Katarina Nordqvist and I'm research director at the Nobel Museum. Uh, Dr. Sachs, we are delighted that you ac have accepted our invitation to give this year's Neil Wheeler Watson Lecture. This lecture series, which has hosted many prominent speakers, has been made possible by the generous donation of Neil Wheeler Watson. Thank you, Neil. I would also like to thank the Swedish Academy for letting us use this beautiful room for today's lecture. As a scientist or doctor, you spread the knowledge about your observations and research by publishing articles in special research and medical journals. Some of us manage to reach a broader audience by writing popular science articles. However, only a few of us have the talent to write books that are read and discussed by many people in many countries. Dr. Sachs is one of these rare persons who combines masterful authorship with deep knowledge of the field of medicine and who transforms medical science into wonderful, well-crafted stories accessible to a wide audience. Some weeks ago, I read One Day, uh, a bestseller from 2010 by David Nichols. Nichols sets the scene for his book by describing the room belonging to one of the main characters in the book, Emma, who is a student at uh, Edinburgh University. It's 1985, and on Emma's bedside table lays the book, The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat by Dr. Sachs. The fact that the book first published in 1985 is mentioned in a bestseller from year 2010 is a clear sign of its place among literary classics. I imagine that we have many here today who also read that book. Dr. Sachs is a physician and professor of neurology and psychiatry at Columbia University Medical Center. During a writing career spanning almost 40 years, Dr. Sachs has blended neurology with wonderful narrative writing. He has written about his patient struggles, his experiences, as both as a doctor as well as a patient. He is the author of 10 books, including The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat, as I just mentioned, Awakening, which also went on to become an Oscar-nominated film, starring Robert De Niro and Robin Williams, Mu and in recent years, Musicophilia and The Mind's Eye. The New York Times has called Dr. Sachs the Poet Laureate of Medicine. And in 2002, he was awarded the Lewis Thomas Prize by Rockefeller University, a prize that recognized scientists as poets. He also holds honorary degrees from many universities, including Karolinska Institute. In his books, Dr. Sachs gives us the opportunity to meet patients with conditions such as Parkinson's disease, uh, migraine, autism, and schizophrenia. He explores subjects that, that are hidden deep inside our brains, using case histories as a tool to describe his patients' dilemmas. Dr. Sachs succeeds in illuminating some of the mysteries of our brains. Dr. Sachs writes not only as a scientist and a doctor, but also as a humanist who is both interested in and concerned about his patient and who sees each of them as the individuals they are, each with their own unique personality. As Dr. Sachs himself expresses it in the prologue to Awakenings, they were not only patients, but teachers and friends. Dr. Sachs, it's a great honor to have you here today. The floor is yours. <laughs> 